Okay, this is my Parrot AR drone 2. I've had a recent crash to the ground from quite a height and I believe I've got a broken cross brace. So both sides, the left and the right, are still seem to be attached, um, but the whole AR drone itself is dropping to the ground. It doesn't take its own weight even, so it, it quickly falls that one and a half centimeters off the ground, which is not meant to. So it looks like what I've got is my cross brace is broken on the right hand side and again on the left hand side. So I seem to think I've got a, a break right down the middle and uh, opening this unit up and uh, replacing it I think is my only option. If I'm lucky I might be able to fix this, this with some aerodite but uh, I've got to see the damage first and I'm going to go through the various steps and hopefully this can help you with your own repairs. Okay, first thing to do is to flip it on its back. I've removed the battery and I've freed the cables just to make this a little bit easier. And what I've got to do is to get this plastic cover off. So you've got to be careful of the uh, camera and the uh, sonic uh, range finders, etc. I've already peeled off uh, one of the covers just to have a quick little look in case there are any screws, etc. And I found that wasn't. And all I found inside there was a, uh, uh, a little pin connector, which I guess Parrot Air Drone use for uh, when they have these things back in their repair shop for warranty checks, etc. So there's nothing particularly useful under there. And of course, you've got the little uh, the, the height range and camera sensors uh, with the holes. So you've got to be very careful removing this. You might want to use either uh, a craft knife, uh, your fingers, um, or perhaps something a little bit blunter, like a good pair of scissors. But basically, you've got to tease this plastic plate, and it is stuck to this foam, the foam case that is your AR drone. You've got to tease and pull this off. So I'm going to just do that carefully. Now, if you do buy the Parrot AR Drone Cross Brace Kit, you get another one of these. So if you're in the situation like I am and you're pretty sure you've got a break, um, you don't need to necessarily save this. So if you think you're finding it easier to get it off by, by cutting or destroying this, don't worry. What you do not want to do is, of course, damage any of the, the foam uh, case of your AR Drone itself because that's the end, another expense that you can avoid. So I'm going to just pop that back there. So straight away, you can now see the circuit board. So already it's evident that I'm not going to get to do the repair by just taking the bottom off here. I'm going to have to remove uh, the, the motherboard. And uh, to do that, you've got to be also quite careful because you need to remove uh, various cables and connectors to allow you to gain access. So you've got to be careful of all these units, etc. And all these connections here actually come off the main motherboard. And you need to do this quite carefully. Nails are as good as anything, so uh, grow yours for a little bit, you'll find it uh, really helps. So this one lifts off, where this one needs to pull out this direction here. Um, and I'm going to just again, I'm gifted with useful, helpful nails. And uh, certainly if you've got a guitar playing friend, he could well be your best friend. Now that didn't come off very well. Possibly I've uh, broken the connector pin from that ribbon cable. Possibly it was just a plug to hold that ribbon cable in. So I can see the connections here are all okay. So I can see I've now got this loose. And I can see I've now got access to the circuit board. Now it's moving when I wobble the uh, camera, uh, sorry, the battery compartment underneath, I can see it's moving. So that's nicely free and obviously clearly connected to the battery compartment. And underneath that is my cross brace. So I've got to remove this to, to gain access. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom in so that the next shot you're going to see inside there. Okay, now I'm zoomed in and I've had a good close look. I can see there's actually two parts to this motherboard. And there's another ribbon connector and connection here that's bridging the two boards that I need to separate. I'm going to again try with my nails first. And I've got it part way off. But I can see I'm going to need a little bit more force and effort to get these to properly part. And again, the plastic has been really awkward and this time I've managed to break uh, one part of the, the connector lug. That's not clever. And then, But again I've got this ribbon cable. There's quite a bit of play, maybe an inch. I can see all the connectors are fine, but now I've got all three cables free. I'm going to proceed to undo the main board. So I'm using the official Parrot AR drone tool that came as part of the mounting tool box. And it's quite a good 
at all that to be honest well, it doesn't feel bad at all now you're going to want to keep all your items in a tin lid or something which I've got off shot at the moment you just line all these up now there is a little bit of a play underneath the unit because the foam board of the battery connector clearly somehow mounted through and underneath so there are four main screws with small black washers that I'm removing these appear to be the main four screws that hold the board in place there are other screws that have actual cross heads which I'm not touching at this time because I'm hoping I can gain access to the underneath let's just see whether I can now lift this out or not it feels like I'm going to be able to, let's hope a little bit of snagging on something let's see what oh, that's catching on there's clearly another connect cable or connector somewhere let's have a look ok I can see there's some connectors underneath I'm going to hinge it backwards I think that's the uh, way I'm going to gain access Try and twiddle this so you can see. I'm going to actually have to shine a light in there, aren't I? You're not going to see this otherwise. Let me just angle this a little bit better, bring it into shot, and I've got a little torch here to try to illuminate that. So I can see I've pretty much freed the board now, but I can also see there's a, a, another bunch of cables going into connectors going onto the board. I can also now see my cross brace, and I can actually see exactly as I thought the way it's broken. So that is a replacement job. Okay, I'm going to zoom the camera out and uh, carry on with this. What I can do is to lift up the board. There does just seem to be enough cable to have the board now mounted upright. Still got to be careful with the connectors around here. And underneath here, there's a white uh, series of plugs. And certainly there's there's actually two. And certainly at least one of those needs to come off. I can also see the, uh, the connection where the battery feeds power to the board through there. That doesn't need to come off and is actually... Uh, cable tied to the board and uh, what I'm going to do now is to carefully remove these uh, white connectors yeah, that was a lot easier than the uh, the black ones on top okay so removing these connectors again so I'm going to remove them both I can't see a good way of uh, getting the cross brace out without removing the uh, motherboard completely so the second plug a little bit awkward so each of these sockets that I've seen so far on the air drone are different um, but they're reasonably easy to clear the power lead you now need to fiddle so I'm going to just turn the unit over quickly so basically the power and the uh, USB lead that's on a dongle does come out of the rear so you want to just push this and feed this through there is actually a big enough hole under this velcro and make a lot more sense give me some room as well I'll just hold that open. There is just about enough room to get these connectors and cables through, and you're gonna you can already hear the motherboard has now pretty much dropped out, and there we have all the circuitry. Having a look at the AR drone, this metal plate here, um, I really hope its plan or aim is to be a defensive plate because mine's got four corner touch points, which I'm gonna zoom in and show you this. And I know why that's happened, it's because my break the way my cross beam's broken I've actually got now I've got proud cross crosses of plastic that have been digging into my motherboard so um, I'm going to zoom in just to show you that. okay this is just a quick close-up of my AR drone motherboard and I was mentioning that I've got a little bit of damage on this metal plate and I don't know whether this metal plate a heat sink uh, not 100% sure I don't plan to take it off um, it doesn't look like something that is use maintainable but you can see I've got four little indentations and dimples that have been caused by some pressing into this plate and I suspect very strongly it's to do with and I'm going to shine a light again just to help it's all dark on dark in here so inside here my cross brace has broken just as I suspected so I've now got as it were two V's yeah so let me hold that cable out the way a little bit so it's literally, I've got a right and a left. There we go, that shows it quite well. So it's cleanly broken down the middle in that orientation. And I've got uh, obviously some pointy bits of uh, plastic that I've been poking into my motherboard. 
Okay, I flipped it over and turned it around again, so it's a similar orientation to how it was at the beginning. Uh, the only other thing now holding in the remains of this uh, cross brace and all the wiring loom are these sticky square tabs that are on each corner. They're pretty well stuck on, and again, you might want to use your craft knife, a pair of scissors, etc., to peel off. Again, like the uh, very, very bottom sticky plate, you can cut these off if you find them that awkward, but at the end of the day, you want to just get them loose so you can slide them down the uh, the shaft so that this is loose because the foam case of your AR drone and I'm going to slide something down there just so you can see what I'm talking about a piece of paper would be useful let me just show you this so the AR drone actually has a cut in the foam that allows these to slot in and out okay all four sticky pads are now off and I'm now ready to ease the uh, crossbar out of the AR drone base and there we have, I'm going to actually take the air drain base away so you can see the remnants of my damage. So absolutely, literally folded in half. As I currently have my AR drone in pieces, I thought it might be interesting just to have a quick little close-up of the uh, the body itself. Obviously there's a little bit of damage here as I pulled off the uh, squares that had the uh, shafts on. The only part that's still attached to the actual uh, polystyrene type case is the foam battery uh, rest so this is the uh, cushioning where the battery would normally sit and underneath you can see that actually the uh, battery compartment and these poles are actually what the uh, as you can see I'm pushing from underneath actually what the motherboard mounted onto the uh, design is quite a bit different inside to the AR drone 1 in that the AR drone 2 has a very separate compartment area here for the uh, sound sonic depth perception stereoscopic sound I guess is coming out of here in effect um, and there's another little dinky circuit board in there that's still remaining in the unit so I've not had to take that out and the uh, rear camera here uh, the base camera here the connection is staying remind it's remaining in the device it's just stuck to the actual uh, foam case itself so that's just a, a little extra detail for anybody that's always wanted to know what's inside there, Parrot AR Drone 2.